Hi, this is Multisilva, a decision support system for multifunctional and sustainable forest management, developed by LIST in collaboration with LuxPlan within the FNR Industrial Fellowship Program. You can access the web interface of the tool using your credentials, after which you are immediately directed to the tool's homepage. Here, you can select which tool you want to use. The mapping tool generates maps and statistics to assess the current provision of ecosystem services for a given forest property. The simulation tool allows the users to test the impact of two management alternatives over a 15-year period. Let's start with the mapping tool first by simply clicking on the button Mapping Tool. This is the tool interface. The mapping tool is user-friendly and ergonomic. It can help you in identifying ecosystem service hotspots located within a forest property and in its surroundings. First, let's drag and drop the zipped folder containing the shapefile of the forest you want to analyze into the Shape Loader box. Alternatively, we can click on the Shape Loader box and browse to the location in which the zipped shapefile is stored. Once the shapefile is correctly loaded, the forest property appears on the interactive map on the left. It is possible to zoom in to see the subdivision of the forest management unit. A search engine also appears to help the user locate the position of different management units. In this example, we see the two-digit identification code used in Luxembourg. Once a management unit is selected, it is highlighted in the map. The mapping tool functions are activated via the computation launchers at the bottom of the tool. We can check, for instance, if the property overlaps with drinking water protection zones. Let's click on Launch Water Protection Computation. A pop-up will notify you when the results are generated. Results are displayed in the dedicated tab within the results section. We can click on the map to display it at full size. Once opened, it is possible to save it by right-clicking and selecting Save Image As. Detailed results are also present in tabular format. In this example, we can see the management units in the forest property intersecting with the water protection zones. The results table can also be downloaded by clicking on Download Data. In addition to the just illustrated water protection function, the mapping tool offers six other functions, all offering results in map and tabular formats. The water body's computation automatically draws buffer areas around main rivers, lakes, and creeks, and it provides the percentage of the management unit areas that overlap within the buffer. We can set the width of the buffer using the appropriate control on the tool interface. The Nature Protection Area computation provides the percentage of each management unit intersecting the different types of nature protection areas. The Butterflies Forest Specialist computation provides the number and type of forest specialist butterflies that are potentially present in each management unit. The species names can be displayed by clicking on the cell. Similarly, the Butterflies Generalist computation provides the number and type of butterfly species that are found both in forests and in open landscapes. The third function computes the number and type of species protected by the European Habitat Directive. The final function focuses on cultural ecosystem services, specifically outdoor recreation. In the Recreation Result tab, we can find the score indicating the outdoor recreational attractiveness of each management unit. This function considers two types of outdoor recreation groups. Convenience recreationists, who prefer an accessible and close-to-home forest, and the sportive recreationists, who privilege forests with marked tracks and good air quality. It's time to check the simulation tool. The simulation tool can be accessed via the tool homepage or by using the shortcut on the command bar located to the left of the screen. Let's click on the third button to move to the simulation tool. As in the mapping tool, you can drag and drop a zipped folder containing the shapefile of the forest you wish to analyze into the shape loader box. 
After the zipped file is correctly loaded, the forest property appears in the interactive map, together with the management unit search engine. Next, we need to provide the forest inventory describing the initial status of the forest property. This is easily done by dragging and dropping the Excel file containing the forest inventory in the dedicated box. It is important to insert the year and month in which the inventory was done via the available boxes. In this illustration, the inventory for the forest property was done in February of 2019. The simulation tool is currently reading the forest inventory format used in Luxembourg, but it can be easily adapted to other formats upon request. The tool is designed to work with most common species in temperate and boreal European forests, such as Norrie spruce, European beech, sessile and pedunculate oak, Douglas fir, and Scots pine. The remaining species are grouped together in macro categories, sharing the same ecological processes and growth dynamics. Once this information is provided, the tool pre-compiles a management template file with the management units and tree identifiers. Let's click on Get Management Template File to download it and save it to a desired location, and name it as preferred, for instance, Alternative 1. The management template allows to design the management alternatives to be simulated. The file contains a main page with global toggles to activate or deactivate specific management actions. For example, if we want to exclude any biomass removal, it suffices to set the harvest and thinning to false. Once the management actions in the global settings page are activated, the action-specific parameters in the dedicated sheet can be set. For example, trail maintenance. Columns with a gray header background contain the stand identifiers. For this management action, we select the type of trail maintenance between low, indicating only the maintenance of the paths, or high, requiring both path and infrastructure maintenance. Once we are done editing the file, we can save it and upload it to the tool interface in one of the two management boxes. The simulation tool allows to test two alternative scenarios simultaneously. For this illustration, Let's test a traditional timber-oriented type of management. To do so, let's download a new management template and save it as Alternative 2. Let's activate both Harvesting and Thinning. In the Harvesting sheet, let's remove all trees with an age above 120. We can use the filter function offered by Microsoft Excel. Now, let's set the harvest year to 2023 the harvest month to November, so 11, the harvest type as CCC, or Continuous Cover Canopy. This means that the removed trees are scattered within the management unit and the canopy cover is maintained and gaps are not created. Finally, let's set the regeneration as natural. The next three columns control whether regeneration is protected via fencing, if harvest residuals are removed, and if pre-commercial thinning is carried out. Next, let's go to the thinning sheet and set for all trees the standard thinning itineraries based on basal area targets. It is possible to modify the standard itineraries by downloading the template from the user interface, edit the basal area targets, and re-upload the custom thinning file. Don't forget to set the thinning parameter to custom for the management units and stands where you want these new itineraries to be applied. From the results of the mapping tool, we have seen that certain management units are falling within nature and water protection areas. So, let's set aside those units by activating the main toggle and indicate which units are set aside in the specific sheet. Now that the second alternative is completed, we need to save it and drag and drop it to the tool interface. We have to set the desired length of the simulation period. For simplicity, let's keep the default value of 10 years. The simulation of the management alternatives can then take place.
After running the process, results are displayed at the bottom of the page, allowing you to visualize the aggregated ecosystem service indicators and the economic costs associated to each management alternative. A radar plot compares the two alternatives along different axes, each representing an ecosystem service indicator to show strengths and weaknesses of each alternative. The output can be further visualized in a tabular format. The table shows the ecosystem service indicators expressed in biophysical units aggregated for the whole property and the simulation horizon. The tool also compares the management costs of the two alternatives by providing necessary inputs for the cost effectiveness analysis. The numerical results can be downloaded and disaggregated at the management unit level with a monthly time resolution allowing the user to further analyze the dynamics of the ecosystem services provision, such as carbon sequestration or air purification. All of this information can be useful to support the decision if duly incorporated as part of the design and planning documentation for forest consultants and practitioners.